Can you solve this mystery? This is the story of a girl who woke up one day to the police knocking at her door, but someone here is hiding something. And all the clues to what really happened are hidden in what I'm about to say. So this girl's been living with an older man for three months until one day out of nowhere, the police showed up to their door and took her away. They brought her to a restaurant and asked her to order anything that she wanted. She got a burger and fries. Then she asked for something cold to drink. They gave her iced tea. Then one of the officers said he's going away for a while. The old man was charged with 14 offenses. When the police were done chatting, they drove the girl home and everyone was crying when she got there. What really happened here? Can you solve this mystery? If you ever hear someone whistling, don't do what she did. Once a girl moved to Peru with her dad, who started a new job as an English teacher. But one night, something strange happened. She looked out the window and saw a long, dark shadow moving through the trees. Then, as the shadow approached her bedroom window, she heard a whistling sound. Not thinking much of it, she began whistling back to it. Her father came to check on her and found her daughter still facing the windows, whistling to something unknown. He asked, what are you doing? And she replied, whistling at the dark figure in the trees. And as soon as the father looked outside, he took his daughter and locked her in the closet. Then he broke the key in the lock and locked the windows and from the inside of the closet the girl could hear her father saying prayers but all of a sudden it stopped then she heard a scream the bedroom windows shattered and she heard her father's screams fade into the distance the next morning the girl was found by villagers investigating the damage to the house her father was never found and eventually she was adopted by her aunt and uncle years later she still sleeps inside a locked closet in fear that the dark creature that once whistled to her would someday return for her do you style your hair the same way every day? Well, there's an urban legend about a woman who always wore her hair in a bun, but for her, this habit would lead to something terrifying. This woman loved wearing her hair in a bun, but she might have taken it a bit too far. She didn't want to style her hair differently or even take out her bun to clean her hair. Whenever she took a shower, she would just wear a shower cap to make sure the water didn't mess up her bun. At night, she would sleep with a towel around her hair so the bun didn't move. After a while, she had to put hairspray in it to mask the smell. Then her scalp started feeling itchy, so she would put more hairspray in it. Even when the itching got in intense, she just applied more hairspray. But her husband finally found out about how bad the situation had gotten when he woke up one day and his wife was still asleep. He tried to wake her up, but she wouldn't move. She had died in the middle of the night. The husband called the police, fearing that something unusual might have happened. But when her body was examined, they finally took out her bun. Inside her hair, they found something terrifying. They found a huge spider had gotten into her hair, made a nest, and laid eggs. When the baby spiders hatched, they bit through her skull and ate her brain. This is why you should not listen to your teacher. Once something terrifying happened to Sophia when she got to school. She went to class as usual when her teacher burst into the room and said, Sophia, I have some bad news. She was shocked and embarrassed to be called out like that in front of her whole class. Her teacher then said, get your things. I just got off the phone with your father. He said your mom was in a horrible accident and he's going to pick you up now and take you to the hospital. Sophia instantly froze in horror. She tried to explain, but her teacher kept interrupting her. Why are you just standing around? Get your things now. But Sophia wouldn't move. She knew something wasn't right. She said, I don't have a father. He passed away long ago and I never got to meet him. I was raised by a single mother all my life. To this day, Sophia still doesn't know who that man was claiming to be her father and what he planned to do if she had gone with him. This is why you should never jump to conclusions. Once there was a woman named Elena who was coming home from a business trip. She was so excited to see her husband and son, but when she got home, only her son was there. Confused, Elena asked her son, where's your father? And he replied, he's upstairs with a girl. Instantly, Elena had a terrible feeling. Still, she decided to walk upstairs slowly and open the bedroom door. There, she saw her husband with another woman. Her husband tried to explain, but Elena wasn't listening. She ran downstairs, grabbed a knife from the kitchen, and ran back upstairs. Without another word, she attacked her husband and looked at the other woman and said, you're next. But what the other woman said after that shocked Elena and made her burst into tears. She said Elena's husband thought she wouldn't be home until tomorrow and she was the party planner that he hired. He was planning a party for her. After that, Elena walked downstairs, grabbed her son and left. No one has ever seen her or her son again. This is why you should never go for someone's looks. Once there was a man who married a woman with long black hair and brown eyes. He thought she was the most beautiful woman he'd ever seen, but soon things went terribly wrong. Over the years, her appearance changed, but he couldn't handle it. He didn't like that she gained weight or that her face now had wrinkles on it. For that reason, he quickly divorced her and found a different girl. This would be a horrifying mistake. The new girl was much younger and had long blonde hair. Within weeks, he married her, but as soon as they moved in, he noticed that she completely changed. She wasn't sweet and polite anymore. She became rude and used him for money. One night, he couldn't take it anymore. He got in his car 
car left the city and drove back to his ex-wife's house and what he saw there shocked him the house was abandoned he knocked on the door but no one answered so he went in and there sitting in their old bedroom was his ex-wife with her long black hair covering her face he hugged her and cried explaining how he regretted leaving her and that's when she said i'm glad you're back if only for a moment the man said what do you mean i'm back for good we can spend our lives together then he brushed her hair out of her face and screamed all that's left with a skull that's when the man looked down and realized he'd been holding nothing but a pile of bones in his hands have you ever seen someone with extremely long hair? Well, a man from Yamada Village in Japan saw a woman with very long hair, nearly down to her knees, but things were much stranger than they seemed. He was walking down a narrow street when this woman approached him, and as he walked closer, he realized that she'd been smiling the whole time. But this wasn't a normal, friendly smile. There was something strange about it that made him feel creeped out. But he smiled back anyways because he found her beautiful. This would be his last mistake. In that moment, her hair rose up and stuck to him. Strands of hair hooked onto his clothes. He he ran as fast as he could, terrified. He got home quickly, locked the door, but couldn't fall asleep all night. The next morning, he felt a bit better, so he opened the door to try to go to work, but he saw that on the other side, his door was covered in scratches. He had run into Hariona, the long-haired woman from Japanese urban legend whose hair can turn into hooks. She's also known as a smiling woman, as she usually smiles at people from the shadows and also specifically targets men who smile back at her. Comment below what you would do if you ran into her and follow to see more. What if you can find out what your true soulmate looks like? Once a girl in Japan was scared that no one would want to marry her. She'd been single all her life and wanted to know what her soulmate looked like. So she played a mysterious fortune telling game. But she could have never known the horrifying consequences this would lead to. To play this game, she filled a bucket with water. Then when the clock struck midnight, she leaned forwards with a razor in her mouth and in the reflection, she saw the face of a man. She was so surprised that she let out a scream. At the same time, the razor fell out of her mouth and into the water. Then instantly, the bucket of water turned red. But a few seconds later, it was clear again. And even though this was strange, the girl decided to ignore it. Years passed and she ended up dating a man. He was gentle, respectful, funny, and had a good job, but something was wrong with him. He would always wear a white mask, and any time that she would ask him to take it off, he'd get angry, until one day he asked her to marry him. She was excited, though she wondered, how can I marry someone if I've never seen their whole face before? So she told him she'll only marry him if he takes off the mask, so he did, and what she saw would terrify her forever. Underneath his mask was a huge scar that went from ear to ear. She stared in disbelief and said, what happened? And he said, you should know, you're the one who dropped the razor. If you ever want to own a pet, don't do what she did. Once there was a girl named Kylie who went to Mexico on a family vacation, but one day she got bored and wandered away from her hotel. That's when she saw a small black dog on the street. She could have never expected this would lead to something horrifying. Kylie walked up to the dog and picked it up. It started licking her face and immediately was very friendly. Since it didn't have a collar and no one was around it, she decided to adopt it. But this would be a horrible mistake. Soon her vacation ended and Kylie put this little dog under her sweater to hide it on the way home. But as soon as they arrived, the dog started acting strange. It chewed a hole through the wall and the next morning Kylie woke up to it gnawing on her ear. She thought it must be sick so she took it to the vet and that's when she finally found out the truth. Kylie said there's something wrong with my dog. I don't know what breed it is but I adopted it in Mexico. The vet looked confused then shook his head. That's not a dog. It's actually a giant sewer rat and it has rabies. Most terrifying urban legends from around the world. Once there were three teenagers who broke into an abandoned amusement park in Canada. Two of them went inside first while the third waited outside. But after a while, the two who went inside first still hadn't come out. So the one left waiting decided to go inside as well to find his friends. That's when he found one of his missing friend's phones lying on the ground. And in the camera roll, he saw something terrifying. On his friend's phone, he saw a photo of a strange door with a huge mouth inside. That turned out to be the urban legend of the Smile Room. A giant creature that manifests itself as a fake room with a door to lure its victims in. It can move to different locations and disguise itself as a normal looking door. So once you walk in, it'll devour you. So remember, the next time you see a door in an unusual place, don't go near it. And follow for more stories. What would you do if you received this as a gift? Once there was a girl named Lucy who received a strange gift from someone unknown. She was so excited so she opened the package quickly but she could have never expected what was inside the box. She pulled out a doll but it wasn't just a regular doll. It was bald covered in cracks and something was wrong with his teeth. They looked pointy and beastly almost like they were made from real animal teeth. She told her mom she needed to throw it out but her mom told her to be grateful so Lucy put the doll in a cupboard under the stairs so she wouldn't have to look at it. But at night something terrifying happened. Right before she was about to fall asleep she heard a small voice say Lucy I'm on the first step. In the morning she she told her mom, who dismissed it and said that she was just having a nightmare, so Lucy went to school as normal and tried to ignore it as much as possible. But the next night, she heard the same voice again. Lucy, I'm on the fourth step. She kept telling herself it was just a dream, until the same voice returned a third time, but this time louder and closer. Lucy, I'm on the top step. The next morning, her parents found that in the middle of the night, Lucy must have tried to go downstairs to go to the bathroom and fell and broke her neck. During the funeral, her toys, including that doll, was buried with her. Her mother said Lucy loved her dolls. Now they can be together forever. 
Never play this game with your friends. Once there was a group of girls who heard about the game Baby Blue. They didn't believe in it, but thought they could scare their friend Laura. So they sent Laura into a bathroom by herself. She turned off the lights, closed the door, and put her arms out as if to hold a baby. Then started chanting Baby Blue, Baby Blue 13 times. What happened next cannot be explained. Laura felt a heavy weight in her arms. Then she felt the weight in her arms scratching her. She was terrified and didn't know what to do. She wanted to drop it, but she was afraid of what might happen if she did. So she froze, and the weight grew heavier and heavier. Suddenly, she saw a woman in the bathroom mirror with a twisted look on her face. She screamed in terror. When her friends heard her scream, they tried to open the door, but it was locked. When they finally opened the door, they found Laura on the floor. Her eyes had been scratched out. They tried to move her body, but they couldn't, because something large and invisible was pinning her to the ground.